Hey you guys! So welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is my little tiny mini yoga studio. And uh, you're welcome to take the Zoom with me. 6 o'clock in the morning. If you are in Indonesia or Burma or anywhere else, it'll be uh, 6 o'clock in the morning for me, 6 o'clock at night for you. So it'll be like a no-brainer kind of thing if you want. But you guys have to check out if you have never done it already. This is one of, I normally don't eat sugar, but if you eat sugar and if you, if you want a treat, this is the way to do it. Ta-da! It's Raggle Mary Biscuit. And so, and I like this one because it's made like really special. And I have this. I know. I'm a little bit off. I'm a little bit crazy. I thought, hmm. I can make a pocketbook out of this. This is so cool. And, you know, maybe I'll cut it in half. I'll make it a pocketbook. And be like my, my other, like, fashionista. Like Lady Gaga. Always had come up with everything. Like Madonna always come up with anything. But it's delicious. If you've never had it, you're crazy not to have it. Try it. Unfortunately, for my New Yorkers, you can't get it in New York City. If you go to Chinatown on Mulberry Street, there is a store next to the fish market that might carry it. Because I know that's where I got it. It's a little bit more expensive, but you know what? It's worth it. And if you go to Indonesia, where I was born, well, let me tell you what my 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 daughter my daughter did, okay? My whole suitcase is full of Mari Raga. And I'm like, what are you doing? She said, Mom. You can't get this in the States. I said, you can get it in Chinatown. I said, you can get this in the States. I want it. And they come in many different varieties. But my favorite still this. They come to this little with the chocolate one. With um, other different types. But I kind of not pay attention with the other one. Because why get something else when you can just... But my daughter loved the mini chocolate one. She actually brought it for her students. And to have it in uh, in the state to try it, but this is one of my favorite. There's like other photos with my niece when she was a baby on Christmas. We were like holding it because we got so much of this because because we can. And anyway, uh, the regal. Don't just get the fake one because they have like this is like absolutely divine. They've won so many awards. Look at this. They've won like they list them to so many awards everywhere, and and one time so I have this funny story to tell you. So this this uh, one of my team members from Philippines, right? So he was telling me he saw this in my in my on my table in my dining room, and he ate it right without asking. And he said, "What are you doing? That's mine." It's not for you, but he ate it. He said, yeah, you know, in the Philippines, it's so famous. This is like made in Philippines, and I'm so crazy about it. And I said, dude, this is from Indonesia. I know it's from Indonesia. I know it's from Jakarta, because that's where I got it from. What are you talking about? She said, no, it's from the Philippines. This is a Philippines biscuit. I grew up with it. And I told him, I said, I grew up with it too, okay? And I know about this biscuit. I definitely, 100% know that it's not from Philippines. I mean, not to disrespect anybody from Philippines. We all love the Filipino, okay? Not to disrespect anything. But he was going on and on and on and on and saying, yeah, it's from the Philippines. I said, it's not. It's from Jakarta, Indonesia. I was born there. I love it. And this is one thing that we did for those that are old like me. For those that are old like me. Do you remember? When they put it down and they use the Popeye song and they put the, the biscuit down and they keep shaking it and it doesn't come out. Do you remember that? I mean, that's how old I am. So, get regal Mari Biscuit. And it's one of the best things. You don't have to believe me. And you just have to try it. And if you are in Switzerland, Japan, Try your old um, Chinatown. Maybe they'll have it because I know um, they have it here. And, and you know, you have to pay triple price. But sometimes it's worth it, right? I will buy it. My 
daughter will buy it. That's why she had this whole gigantic suitcase that has nothing but money rag on. Nothing. I said, Grace, who's going to eat all this stuff? This is what she always said. This is how she stopped. Talk to the hand. She doesn't even talk to me. Mom, just stop it. She doesn't even sometimes she doesn't even say stop it. She just go like this. That means, yeah, talk to the hand. I will eat it. And one time, no kidding, guys. We went overboard. We paid over three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. So I looked at it. Ah, oh, sorry, mom. Don't blame on the money, right, girl? Because I just looked at it as I was taking my car to charge these over three hundred dollars over things. She said, "Nope." That's your box, you know? That's your clothes. That's not, she said. And then we have to take it out, right? I thought, okay, let's do it. She literally said, no, 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 no. This luggage is totally fine. Don't touch it. She literally said, no. And I said, Grace, we gotta give up something. Give up your clothes. Give up your books. Because sometimes I do buy books from Indonesia and sometimes I do get um, prints up certain things for me mom go take care of your own luggage that's literally <laughs> this is why it is so annoying to be a mother all right I mean hallelujah to all of you that could do it okay way to go I'm all kudos for you and I'm holding this because this is like my little teddy bear all for it but I'm like Grace just take a couple of biscuits out you don't need a whole luggage and I'm like you know do we want to pay $500 or $300 she said you know mom he's not about me that's usually my line he's not about me you fix it um she said no mom take out from your stuff you have enough stuff you don't need let me just have my I call it the drug of choice. Really not drugs. I never did drugs. I never smoked. But I like, uh, all right, I'm not going to even argue with you. So fine. She said, I only have two suitcases, okay? One of them is something that I like, which is a Mari Raga. And the other one, well, it's my clothes. So I'm not taking anything out. You go to your luggage and did it. So as a good mother as I am, I did. I took it out just to please my daughter so she can have Mari Ragal Biscuit for life. And then she'll eat them and eat them and eat them and eat them. I'm happy for her because it is very good. And it's not something that I eat every day, but if you do eat sugar and if you like sugar, then go for this baby. And I'm losing my voice. So, but enjoy the Mari Ragal, okay? They have it, check out your Chinatown. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See, this is even a good uh, to put your elbow down in case you have you in case you break your arm. This is good to put your elbow down, to fall asleep in it, to give yourself a hug in case you're single, not married. I'm happily single, so I'm totally good. So this is like my go-to, my pillow. Uh, you know, someone that I talk to if I'm going in trouble. Uh, so tell you very versatile anything that you want so what else can you do with the Mari Raga like I did with my hydroponic well I'll tell you what you can do with your Mari Raga you can make an ice cream sandwich okay you can go to the cold moo that I told you to go the last time and have get the ice cream if I drink coffee you know I'll be up all night okay but their coffee is better than Hagen does. You've never had Hagen does? The only ice cream that I would eat is Hagen does. And unfortunately, Kolmu is not New York City because I will be as big and as fat as a house and it'll be worth it. You know, because I'll be like eating, eating it. Uh, but get your Mario and then I don't get money from them, by the way. So I, I just want, I just want something for you guys that you could, you can make a sandwich with it. That's one. You can actually put maple syrup and add strawberry. That's two. You can actually crush them up, okay? Mix it a little bit with honey and make it a graham crackers, a graham crackers, and make yourself a cheesecake. That's three. Number four. 
could make mini cheesecake and put crumble up the crumbs at the top. That's four. I'm giving you guys so much ideas. Number five. You don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Number five. You could make your apple pie. For those of you that make apple pie, crumble your my rag out and then put it. Number six. You can test the advertisement, which is what I used to do. You put it, dip it in your favorite milk. If you're vegan, use soy milk, almond milk, or uh, whatever milk you want. Dip it, shake it away. You know that was used to be like my thing. Let's see. Even though at the bottom it said only for advertisement, but let's see if you can do it. So you can crumble them up. Uh, with that, you can actually when you make your brownies, you can crumble them up. You can make fresh fruits when you're eating your watermelon. You can, now it gets soft really fast, so you can do this. Watermelon. Let me tell you about watermelon. You can cut up watermelon. This is a Greek thing. Watermelon. Or maybe it's not a Greek thing. I just give them credit. Watermelon with feta cheese and olive. So that's like sweet and salt kind of thing. Divine, out of this world. Okay, so you can even use the marigold. So what I'm saying is, but but it gets soft fast because you don't want the water, right? So if you want to do it, you got to do it fast. You can, or you can just do it with feta cheese and fast. You can even use this and dip it. Oh, this is so bad, so bad. Dip it in Nutella. There you go. Okay, you can do that, or you can make this marigold. This is what I used to do with the bread, right? Only a little bit, only 10 seconds. Put it like make it like an Oreo cookies, and bake it for 10 seconds. You know, and the other thing, instead of frying Oreo, let's fry marigold. Put it in a batter and fry it. There you go. I gave you guys so many ideas. Now, if you get fat because of me, don't blame me. On your own, but that's what I would do. I put, I've made ice cream sandwich with this. I have made. I was on sugar high, but that's okay. Some there's some certain thing that's worth it. I made ice cream sandwich with this. I have made. I have dipped it in Nutella when I'm in the mood for sugar with it. I have dipped it in my soy milk. I have used it as my cereal to have it, and I put chocolate sprinkle. I put a light of butter. And then put chocolate sprinkle and melt it, and it comes out to be yummy. I make it like an Oreo to like little cookies everywhere you want to. I want to know, and you can put it. Remember, in cream cheese, right? You can make a cream cheese. You know how do we have bagel with cream cheese? You can make Mario Ragu cream cheese. I want to know what you have experiment. You know what? I'm gonna do. Hmm. Let me see if I have the time. I'm gonna let me just do seven days. I'm gonna do seven days trip. What you can do with Mario Raga? I'm gonna try to make 365 days. You know, with Mario Raga recipe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure if I have the time yet now because we're doing other project. But when we have a minute, when I have a minute, I will do what you can do with Mario Raga. You gotta give me ideas too. Anyway, just to let you know, that's what the the Mario Raga biscuit. Highly recommend them.